Welcome to the Chehalis River, flowing through the forested and rolling Willapa Hills through fertile farmland and valleys to the marshes and beaches of the Pacific Ocean. The Chehalis supports the fish, wildlife, and communities that call Washington's second largest river basin home. Water shapes the landscape in the beautiful Pacific Northwest. The slow and steady precipitation for most of the year can fall via atmospheric rivers during the winters. As storms move through the Chehalis Basin, rainwater makes its way to the river. The natural environment handles change well, and the river rises and falls throughout the year. But when extreme weather and intense downpours strike, the waters of the Chehalis can rage. A single major storm can cover dry land in as much as eight feet of water. The flooding can cause hundreds of millions of dollars in property damage, close I-5, destroy public infrastructure, and displace thousands of people, all in a matter of days. Traditional responses to flooding, like many of the aging dams across the nation, reduced flood risk to people at the expense of fish and a river's natural flow. But modern advanced technology means we don't have to make this trade-off anymore. The state of Washington and the Office of Chehalis Basin, through a basin-wide strategy, are evaluating something new for the Chehalis River. The FRE, the technical name for the flow-through dam for flood control on the Chehalis River, may look like a traditional dam, but this world-class structure is very different. This technologically advanced structure allows the river to flow naturally and fish to swim up and downstream without obstacle under all but the most severe weather conditions. It's also tailored to the unique needs of the Chehalis Basin. It focuses specifically on minimizing and avoiding negative impacts to Chinook and Coho salmon, steelhead, cutthroat trout, Pacific lamprey, Western brook lamprey, and more, while protecting people, property, and infrastructure from catastrophic flood damage. Based on cutting-edge research and innovative design, the flow-through dam for flood control mimics the height of the riverbed, allowing the river to continue its natural flow in normal conditions and fish to pass upstream and downstream on their own. This design, called Volitional Fish Passage, lets fish navigate the river on their own to find food, hide from predators, and rest. Instead of hitting a barrier as they would at a traditional dam, fish can move unaided through the structure through open pathways called conduits. The conduits mirror the depths, flow rates, and sediment fish find in other parts of the river during migration. The flow-through design also promotes natural river processes, so sediment and fish can move through the conduits during periods of higher flow. When weather forecasts predict major and catastrophic floods, the structure temporarily operates like a dam, holding back water and reducing downstream flow. In the last 20 years, the flow-through dam for flood control would have held back flood water just three times, but the benefits would have been substantial. Thousands of structures and hundreds of millions of dollars of damage to homes, farms, and other infrastructure would have been avoided. I-5 would have been protected. Thousands of people would have been able to stay safely in their homes instead of being displaced. The 2007 event alone caused over $900 million in damages. Only during these types of flood events, when the structure is holding back water, would an advanced trap and haul facility be used to pass various fish species and life stages upstream. To maintain flow downstream, even during extreme events, the flow-through dam for flood control will release average wintertime flows, ensuring the river would never run dry during operation. After the flood risk has passed, the conduit gates would reopen to allow fish to move freely through the dam again. The Chehalis Flood Control Zone District is proud to propose a flood risk solution that serves the needs of fish, preserves the riverine ecosystem, and protects communities. This proposal for a modern flood protection facility is currently under state and federal agency review. For more information, please visit the website www.chehalisriverbasinfczd.com to learn more about the flow-through dam for flood control and how it will benefit the Chehalis Basin.